Let's face it, Google's Pixel 2 phones have had some pretty amazing cameras. The HDR Plus technology that Google has been using in them has given us some truly stunning images. Now, with the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL, Google is making its camera even more smarter with on-device AI and machine learning. Let's take a look at some of the new features. Good photography is always about capturing the right moment at the right time, but not everything is under our control. Accidents happen and we end up missing the moment getting a shot that's just an aftermath more than the main event. Google's Stop Shot feature captures a number of frames even before you tap the Capture button on the Pixel 3. So even if you end up missing a moment, the Pixel's machine learning engine will identify the best shot available and present you with that. If it does miss out on the shot you were looking for, you can even manually select the frame that best meets your criteria. Digital zoom is objectively a terrible way to shoot anything. Having a zoom function while avoiding digital zoom has been a major pursuit for years for phone camera makers. Now, Google claims that they may finally have a solution with Super Res Zoom. The Pixel 3 shoots a burst of photos, each a bit different and learning from the small movements of your hand while clicking. It uses that data through its algorithm to give you a clearer zoomed in shot that's a big step up over digital zoom quality. We will be able to check how sharp the end results really are in our upcoming review of the phones, so do look out for that. The Pixel 2 cameras are already pretty good at low-light performance, being able to capture details that competing cameras fail to at the time. Based on Google's Pixel 3 launch keynote, the new night shot mode makes a remarkable improvement in the way the device captures images in low-lit conditions. In the demo, there was a drastic improvement in image clarity, colors and details in the sample shot, especially when compared to a similar shot captured from the iPhone XS. This feature is not available on our test units as of now, as Google says it would be coming this November across all Pixel phones. Besides the zoom, Google also has wide camera angles on both its cameras. All you need to do is tap a tiny zoom button in the lower right corner of the camera preview and you'll be able to zoom out to a wider camera angle using the zoom slider. It's a pretty nifty feature that gives you a 184% wider frame, allowing you to capture a big group or more of the background in a single shot without a selfie stick. Google's AR stickers have been upgraded. The new playground characters look a lot more realistic, adapting to the surrounding lighting conditions to give you realistic renders. The characters on screen also react to your facial expressions and motions to give you a better interactive experience than AR stickers ever did. We tried the Iron Man character and it seems to work as described. But once again, we'll have to put this feature through our review process for the final verdict. The feature will be rolled out to Pixel and Pixel 2 phones as well later. Google Lens predictably becomes a part of the camera UI for easier accessibility now. It will now identify objects and give you suggestions based on what you're pointing the camera at. It will also retroactively work with photos you've clicked earlier as well. In case you can't reach the Pixel 3's capture button or just want to place it somewhere and capture a selfie, you can use its photo booth mode. It captures a picture every time you smile or make a change in your expression. Now we'll be testing this feature as well to see how well it really works. You can now keep the focus locked on your subject on your Pixel 3 phone despite its movement in your frame. Pretty useful when taking pictures of kids, pets and even during sports for that matter. Another feature that hasn't been implemented at the time of recording is the depth of field adjustment in the Pixel 3's portrait mode. You can however have interesting color filters based on the depth algorithm. Now all these are accompanied by free unlimited cloud storage for high resolution photos till January 31st 2022 makes the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL pretty enticing options. How well do they actually perform though? You'll have to wait a bit longer for our full review. So thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.